Now, I understand that you have a daughter, right? I do have a daughter, thing. If, God forbid, your daughter were raped, do you believe that your daughter should be forced to carry the fetus to term? In the event, and I just want to say, um, for the record, that the, the stories that I've heard from women today of their abortions make me very sad. I, I feel for every woman that has been through that horrendous situation and had to make that horrendous decision. I am working it's, for a world yes, where no women question. do not ever have to address that decision. But I would say that in the case of a rape, women generally know that they've been raped. And a woman can find out that she is I'm pregnant. I'm just asking you a simple question, Dr. Scott. In the case, even after a detectable fetal heartbeat under SBA, were your daughter raped? Would you believe that she should be forced to carry the baby to term as required by SB8? SB8 gives enough time for a woman who knows she's been raped to determine that she No, I'm asking is pregnant. in the case after a detectable fetal heartbeat. After the detectable fetal heartbeat, you I'm just asking you a very simple question. At that point, is it your testimony that you, you believe that your daughter should be forced to carry the baby to term, even in the case of rape? If my daughter were pregnant as a result of rape, that would be extraordinarily sad. And I think that is evidence of the broken world that we are living in. Ma'am, you don't want to answer the question. You're being evasive. And this is the hypocrisy which characterizes people like you having an opinion as to how you would treat your own daughter, but forcing other daughters and sisters and women in the state of Texas to go through a wholly entirely different experience. In 2019, the Texas Department of Safety reported more than 14,000 rapes in the state of Texas. And most experts believe, unfortunately, the actual number of rapes far surpasses the number of reported rapes.